Hello everyone, let's provide a solution to this nice square root uh, math problem, okay? So which is seven square root of 70 cubed plus 80 cubed plus 90 cubed. So how do we go about this? Now, we can express 70 cubed as 10 times 7 raised to power 3 plus that is 10 times 8 raised to power 3 and also here plus 10 times 9 raised to power 3 okay now from here remember this is 10 times 7 which is the same as 7 raised to power 3 now we can express this in this format we can say 10 raised to power 3 multiplied by 7 raised to power 3 plus now we can write 10 times 8 raised to power 3 as 10 cubed multiplied by 8 cubed plus if you say 10 cubed times 8 cubed is the same thing as saying 10 times 8 raised to power 3 the same case to this part we're going to have 10 cubed multiplied by 9 cubed okay now from from this part actually this is simply because if we have a b cubed what we have here we can express this as a cubed times b cubed okay so this is the property we are applying here so that now from our case here we're going to realize that 10 cubed is common for the three part so that we factor out 10 cubed and we're going to have 7 cubed plus 8 cubed plus 9 cubed okay okay now from here we find that we have 10 cubed into the bracket here 7 cubed this is 343 plus 8 cubed this is 512 plus 9 cubed, which is 720, 729. Okay. Now, we can, we can write this as 10 cubed multiplied by, now, 343 plus 512 plus 729. This is equal to 1584. 1584. And also we can we can proceed again here we'll have 10 cubed multiplied by 1584 1584 can be expressed as 16 times 9 times 11 okay so we can write this as 16 that is 1584 uh, 16 times 9 times 11 okay so let's proceed we have the square root of 10 cubed multiplied by 16 times 9 times 11 of which you can express of which you can express as 10 cubed okay multiplied by 16 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 4 times 9 we are saying 16 can be expressed as 2 raised to power 4 and 9 can be expressed as 3 squared so times 3 squared times 11 okay now from here we can also express 10 cubed we can also express 10 cubed as 10 raised to power 2 times 10 that is 10 squared times 10 so we'll have 10 squared times 10 times 2 raised to power 4 times 3 raised to power 2 times 11 okay now if you get the square roots of 10 raised to power 2 this is equal to 10 okay multiplying by square root of 10 times 2 raised to power 2 if you get the square root of this is 2 raised to power 4 if you get the square root of this this is 2 raised to power 2 okay times square root of 3 squared this is 3 times 11 okay 
Now from here, from here, we have 10. You can see we have 10 times 2 squared. This is 2 squared is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Okay. Now 12, we are saying that we have 10 times square root of 10 times, this is 12 times 11. This is the square root of 11, sorry. Square root of 11. Okay. Now we have 12 times 10. This is equal to 120. Okay. Then we have square root of 10. That is square root of 10 times square root of 11. Okay. Now that means that if you have a raised to the power 1 times b raised to the power 1, this can be expressed as a, a, b. So in our case here, we're going to have 120. We say 10 times the square root of 10 times square root of 11. This is equal to 110. Okay. And this is the solution to our square root math problem. So thank you for watching and kindly subscribe.